story time. So this story takes place back when I worked at the lawn care company. So this is gonna be a doozy. So I know I hated on that job a lot in my videos, but at the end of the day, it wasn't a bad job. It really wasn't. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate on it some more, real quick. <laughs> so the entirety of the job itself was fine. It was the hours that I couldn't do. So we were expected to work 11 hour shifts, five days a week, and then be on call for Saturdays. So, I'm just exhausted all the fucking time. So I called in, not a lot, but enough to make him want to fire me, but not enough to fire me, if that makes any sense. So see, in the last video, I had mentioned that I'm an overthinker. So it's not necessarily always a bad thing. So when, whenever I decide to do something, I think of every possible fucking outcome that could happen, the bad and the good. So I'm like, I, like, I want to call in. I don't want to fucking work today. I need to think of the right excuse for not feeling good so that he can't get mad at me for calling in. That makes any sense. It's, ma it's making sense as I'm saying it, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping the camera's catching the sense as well. <laughs> I had actually called my boss the day before I was calling in to tell him I was calling in. So during the day, I was like, oh, like, I don't really feel that good. I'm like, uh, uh, kind of, like I don't like feel the best. Right? I'm not, I'm not at a hundred percent. Well, I was lying. I was building up to calling in the next day. See, I'm planning ahead. This is what you got to do. I guess you could take this as like as like a how to how to call in to work properly video. This is a tutorial video. <laughs> so after an entire day of saying I wasn't feeling my best, I go home for a couple hours. I'm chilling. I'm gaming. I'm doing my shit. I'm making food. I'm showering so I don't smell like ass shit. And so I text him and I'm like, Hey man, like you're gonna hate me. He texts us back. He's like, what, what's, what, what's wrong? What's up? I'm like, I think I got to go to the fucking hospital, man. <laughs> now, some people might actually get a little pissed off with where this story is going to go. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still kind of funny. So, sorry. <laughs> so then he calls me and he's like, like, hey, man, like, what's going on? Are you okay? And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, my, 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 fucking, my head's hurting. My stomach feels like it's on fire right now. Like, I can't, like... I can't do anything. It hurts too much. I'm like, I'm going to take some gravel. I'm going to try and take a nap. And then like tomorrow morning, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the hospital. I can't come in tomorrow. And I could hear, I, I could hear in his voice that he was fucking mad. But I pulled up the hospital card. So he couldn't get mad at me for it. So my dudes, this, this, this is where the good gets gooder. Okay. This is what I did. The next morning, I get up at four o'clock in the morning. I normally I get up at five. I get up at four. I shower. I do my shit. Like I get ready and all, all that all that fun jazz. And I actually go to the fucking hospital. Note that there is nothing fucking wrong with me. Okay. <laughs> I go to the hospital at four thirty in the morning. Okay. I picked that time specifically. Because I knew there was nothing wrong with me, and I didn't want to waste any other uh, anybody's time, like anybody who actually needed medical assistance. So I knew by going there at 4.30 in the fucking morning, there was only going to be the one crackhead and the one homeless guy in there. So I wasn't wasting anybody's time. So I get into the triage part, I give them all my information and all that fun shit, and I hadn't thought this far into my plan, so I actually didn't have something wrong with me to tell anybody so i just out of spontaneousism that's not that's not a word i just told my arm hurt and i sat down i sat there for an hour and a half there's nothing wrong with me they finally call me up i give them some more information and they slap the fucking sticker on my wrist that is all i needed okay <laughs> so i sit back down after they give me the fucking the bracelet Okay, now I got a couple co-workers on Snapchat 
So I'm like, I'll take a fucking picture of it so they see it. So they're like, oh, yo, like, boss man, like, he's actually at the hospital. So I thought this far into it, bro. So after I posted it on Snapchat, I then remained there for another 30 minutes. And then I walked up and I'm like, yeah, like, I gotta go to work, so I'm just gonna go. And then I left. <laughs> See, I don't know where else you could do this, but in Canada, healthcare is free, right? So I can go to the hospital, get that fucking bracelet, and then I can just fucking leave. Without even getting looked at. So if you guys, if you live in Canada and you want to fucking go into work, just go to the hospital, get the bracelet, put it on Snapchat, and there you go, you're fucking golden. Now I should mention, with me putting it on Snapchat, everybody fucking freaked out. And thought there was something wrong. So, I had a couple people get mad at me for it. But at least I didn't have to go to work. I also don't recommend doing it because, like, healthcare is free. We probably shouldn't take advantage of it and all that shit. Like, I'm not, I don't plan on doing it again. I just made a video, so everybody's gonna fucking know what I do now. Ah, that is it, my dudes, for today. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Yo, side note, my dudes, so before I started making this video, like I parked in my spot, I'm kind of in a different spot right now, slightly different, same parking lot, different spot, but I'm like, okay, I, I actually got to piss. So I moved to the subway over there to go to the bathroom and I walk in and they're like, they're like, hi there, how can I get, what can I get for you today? And I'm like, I'm, like, I'm just here to take a piss, man. And they're like, no, like we can't let you use the bathroom. We got to buy something first. And I'm like, you fucking serious? So I literally bought a fucking sub that I didn't fucking want just so I could fucking piss. I mean, I'm still going to eat it. I just didn't want it.